Personally, I love the Crest 3D white strips because you can talk, you can drink water. So if you're watching The Bachelor and you feel the need to scream at Peter for being so indecisive, you can do it still. <laughs> oh my God, Peter, you want me to win? <laughs> Peter, yes, I accept the final rose. Now Peter's mom is crying, sobbing on the couch. She's living for this camera moment. She's living for the fame. Cry, Mrs. Weber, cry, yes. What's wrong? But you know, maybe deep in your heart, you This is some of the worst maternal advice I've ever heard. The, the religion shaming, I can't. Hannah Ann is not the girl. Peter's mom wants Peter to end up with the girl who told him to go fuck a million girls. And now his mom is all spiritual and religious talking about God, how Hannah Ann's an angel. And then she was like low key being condescending to Maddie about her religion. I don't know. Bring her home. Bring her home to us. Bring her home to us. We will welcome her with open arms. We will welcome her with all the love in the world. All the love in the world. You know, things are finally making sense. Peter's 30, he's still single. Why? Oh, maybe that's because his family is villainizing a nice girl who's a virgin and making her seem like she's crazy and making her seem like she's the devil when she's actually quite a nice girl who's kept her legs closed. Maybe that's why he's still single. You know, that there hasn't been a clear villain this season, and I think it's because they were saving the finale. Peter's mom is the villain. I'm sorry, you guys. Do you know who I am today? I'm that girl. You remember her. She brought apples in a Ziploc bag. She had extra lead pencils. She wouldn't let you borrow them. I would let you borrow a lead pencil. You need a lead pencil. I give you a lead pencil. You need one? Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you missed Auntie. You missed your Auntie. You missed Auntie. You missed Auntie. You missed Auntie. Wanna eat? Come on.